Hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for ifitjams.com. The most fundamental part of troubleshooting electrical systems in a car is just finding whether or not you have continuity, whether or not a wire actually goes from point A to point B and isn't broken somewhere in between. So the way you check that with a modern multimeter is to put it on the continuity setting. And they all have these. There's a little speaker symbol there. It's on the lowest setting of the resistance scale, the ohm scale. And what it does is if you find continuity, it makes a tone. And it makes it much easier to troubleshoot because you don't have to be looking at the meter while you're placing the probes. So let's go here from the negative on the battery and see if we can find continuity on any piece of... Uh, there we go. Not a great connection. It's a little dirty. But I'm just going to a piece of metal on the car at random. Let's see if we can find a, a bolt here that'll show up in the uh, screen. Well, we'll come all the way up here. There you go again. So all of the metal on the car should really be at ground potential, and you should have a closed circuit from the negative cable of the battery to any point of metal on the car that you can use as a reference. Now, if you don't have a tone on your meter, what you're looking at is the resistance. And it still functions. You'll see if we just go between the multimeter probes, it sees about 0.3 ohms, 0.3, 0.4, and we should be able to get that same ohm reading. Again, going pretty much anywhere, any metal on the car. I'm going to get a good contact here. Come on. There we go, 0.3. Because metal is all very conductive. I mean, there's, unless it's intentionally there for resistance, going through steel, over short distances, you essentially have no resistance at all. You're just seeing the resistance of the wires in the probe. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for ifitjams.com. Stop by our website and see some more troubleshooting information.